If your Windows 10 PC has a touch screen, you can use tablet mode to navigate using touch, just as easily as using a mouse or trackpad. We'll show you how in this video. If you've got a convertible or two-in-one device with a detachable or rotatable keyboard, Windows will ask if you'd like to switch to tablet mode each time you undock your keyboard or rotate the display. Otherwise, you can turn it on manually anytime from the Action Center by tapping its icon on the lower right corner of your screen, or by swiping your finger in from the right edge, then tapping the tablet mode tile. When you switch to tablet mode, the start menu and all your apps run full screen, and everything's spaced out a little more to make things touch friendly. In addition, the desktop's no longer accessible, although you can still access your desktop items from File Explorer by selecting your desktop folder from the Quick Access pane. Lastly, your app icons on the taskbar also disappear in tablet mode, although you can get those back too. We'll show you how later in the video. When navigating Windows using touch, just remember, anything you normally left-click with the mouse, you can also tap with your finger. So you can tap the Start button to open the Start menu, which will show your pinned apps by default. These are the apps that normally appear on the right side of the Start menu. Tap the All Apps button towards the top of the left rail to view all the apps on your PC, which you can scroll by simply swiping your finger up and down. To switch back to your pinned apps, tap the Pin Tiles icon on the upper left. Then, just tap an app to open it up. To scroll your app's content, just swipe your finger up or down like before. You can also slide two fingers apart to zoom in if the app supports it, then pinch or slide them together to zoom back out again. To open another app, just open the Start menu again and select a different one. We'll open up File Explorer this time. In addition to tapping items you normally left-click with the mouse, you can also double-tap items you'd normally double-click. So you can double-tap files and folders in File Explorer to browse your content and open up your personal files. Similarly, anything you normally right-click with the mouse, you can also tap and hold with your finger, which will bring up the regular right-click menu where you can do things like copy, rename, or delete the item. Another action you can perform with Touch is move stuff around using drag and drop. To do that, just drag the selected item with your finger to drop it into another folder. To select multiple items, just tap the selection box beside each one. If you select the wrong item by mistake, tap it again to deselect it. Or if you change your mind, just tap anywhere else to clear the selection. Note that you can also drag items on the Start menu, too. Just tap and hold the tile to select it, then slide it with your finger to move it elsewhere. You can also pin or unpin the app from the Start screen, as well as tap the three dots for the regular right-click menu, where you can resize the tile and more. We'll show you how to customize the Start menu in a separate video. Another new item that appears in tablet mode is the Back button on the taskbar below, which works like the Back button on mobile devices so you can tap it repeatedly to cycle through your previous apps and windows. To switch between your apps in tablet mode, tap the Task View button on the taskbar or swipe your finger in from the left edge of the screen. This displays previews of all your open apps, so just tap the one you want to switch to. If you want to do some multitasking, you can also snap two apps side by side. To do that, swipe down from the top of an app until it undocks, then slide it either to the left of the screen or to the right and let go to snap it to that side. Then, just pick another app from the previews to snap it to the other side. Now you can work on two apps at once. To swap the apps around, swipe down from the top edge of an app like before, then slide it over to the other side and let go, which flips them over. You can also replace one of the apps with another by bringing up Task View again and choosing a different app, then selecting the existing one you want it to replace. Lastly, you can even resize the apps by sliding the divider bar in the middle so you can focus more on one app while still keeping an eye on the other. To switch back to a single app, just slide the divider all the way to the edge of the screen. To close your desktop apps from tablet mode when you're done, just tap the cross icon on the upper right corner of the window as usual, which will take you back to the start screen. You can also close apps from task view by simply tapping the cross on the top right of the app's preview. For apps you've downloaded from the store, just swipe down from the top of the app all the way to the bottom until it disappears. Before we wrap up, let's take a look at some of the settings you can customize for tablet mode, starting with the taskbar, which you can tap and hold for more options. For example, you can show your app icons so you can switch between them by simply tapping their buttons,
just like in desktop mode. Another thing you can do is hide the taskbar automatically, giving you more space for your apps. To get it back, just swipe your finger up from the bottom edge of the screen. The remaining options let you choose which icons appear in the notification area on the far right of the taskbar. For more options, open the Start menu and tap the Settings icon on the lower left. Then, go to System, followed by Tablet Mode from the left-hand menu. From here, you can tell Windows to always use a particular mode each time you sign in, or use the most appropriate mode for your device. Note that by default, Windows will use Tablet Mode for touch devices that don't have a physical keyboard. For convertible or two-in-one devices, you can choose whether to switch to tablet mode automatically each time you detach the keyboard or rotate the display. The rest of the options allow you to show or hide your app icons on the taskbar, as well as hide the taskbar itself, both of which we saw earlier. And finally, to switch back from tablet mode, just open the Action Center and tap the tablet mode tile again to turn it off. So if you've got a touchscreen device, make the most of it and get around faster with Windows 10's new touch gestures and tablet mode.